The third exercise I have for you to get you a nice stable neck during your rows is, uh, it's kind of more of a pushing movement. It's the Turkish get up. Now, this one is pretty complicated to do the whole thing if you've never done it before. I suggest learning it in steps. And honestly, if you want to get the benefit of it, you don't really have to do all the steps. It helps. If, and if you can master all the steps, you'll definitely be better off. And you'll, you, you know, you'll have more stability, more mobility that you can then transfer into other movements. But the big thing here is just getting a nice stable shoulder position. So for the Turkish get up, you're laying down on your back, you got one hand up in the air, and you're punching and kind of crunch and turning onto your opposite elbow. If that's all you can do, then that's probably enough. Um, but you have to cue it correctly. So when I come up to my elbow, it's really easy to let my body weight just kind of sag down like this. And during the Turkish get up, especially if you're going to be holding some weight above over your head, I would generally not recommend that, right? So I want to be active on the ground. I want to push that way. And that gives me a nice long neck position. So I'm starting to train my neck stability in various different positions. Now it's not just am I getting the right position in my pelvis, in my lumbar spine, in my thoracic spine, but am I getting a, uh, am I adopting different positions, but also keeping my neck stable? And so doing the Turkish get up isn't quite as hard as directly opposing gravity in the row where my head is uh, prone to, uh, going forward or falling down. Um, but the, the Turkish get up is nice because it teaches me that nice long position. Now we talked about the support arm and yeah, I don't want that to shrug up, but the arm that's up over your head, I don't want that to shrug up either. I don't want my shoulder to come toward my ears. I want nice and strong on the support arm and then kind of packed down during or for my, my arm that is up overhead. Um, one of the, the cues that have kind of stuck with me, I think it's from Pavel Tsatsulin, uh, the Russian kettlebell guy. <laughs> if you don't know him, you should look him up. He's very entertaining. Um, he says, ears are shoulder poison. Maybe that was Brett. Um, I don't really know. Anyways, ears are shoulder poison. So I don't want to shrug my shoulders up towards my ears. I want a nice long neck position. And what you'll notice is when I mess up my row, my shoulders start coming up towards my ears and my ears start to fall back as my head falls forward. So doing the Turkish get up with a nice long neck is great for preparing a nice stable neck for the row.